Hi guys, welcome to the bonus section of our course. In this bonus section, I would like to show you another uh, way to add a reference image to ZBrush, which sometimes could be uh, much better than actually going through the draw button using the front or um, any of these uh, settings here. So another way of doing it would be to simply go to your texture, then click import, then navigate to your reference image. Once it's been loaded, simply select it and click on this little button on the right that says Add to Spotlight. Once you do that, you will see the huge image show up on your screen. So you can just hide the oh, everything else. And then using this button right here, you can scale it up and down so maybe something like this and you can simply click and drag maybe place it in the corner and once you're happy with the size of it you can just simply click this button right next to it called pin spotlight if you click pin spotlight it will pin it to the uh, to wherever you placed it and then you can press the Z key on your keyboard to hide the uh, little interface spotlight interface and at any point in time um, as you're modeling, so for example, now if I grab um, any one of the primitives and just draw it on the screen, press edit to begin modeling, and let's turn our floor on. As you can see, the image will always stay um, in the top left corner wherever you pinned it, regardless of what the angle of, of the mesh is or um, it doesn't matter what you do on the screen it will always be pinned right here so that's that could be another useful way of actually um, using our reference image so at any point in time if you wanted to hide it you press shift Z so if you're working and maybe you do want to utilize this area right here and then to bring it back you click shift Z once again and that kind of brings it back and then the only other thing you need to do is um, in order to actually begin sculpting you must go to brush and under brush you want to click samples and make sure that spotlight project projection is off so that will allow you to sculpt on your model without projecting your spotlight on your mesh so i hope this helps and i'll see you guys soon